Have you ever felt that you are in a dark and difficult period, that you cannot encourage yourself and see the light at the end of the tunnel? Our Haftarah deals with such feelings. We are in the days between Tisha B'Av and Rosh Hashanah, during which we read the Shivata de Nechemeta, the seven Haftarot of consolation. In many of these Haftarot, Jerusalem is depicted as a woman. But Tomer Tzion Azavani Adonai, Zion said, the Lord has forsaken me, my Lord has forgotten me. Roni Akara lo yalada, sing, barren woman, you who never bore a child. The prophet uses the imagery of a forgotten woman, a barren woman, to emphasize the distressed state of Jerusalem. Similarly, this Shabbat Haftarah opens with the words, Afflicted city, lashed by storms and not comforted. The verses of the Haftarah describe Jerusalem after the destruction as a storm-tossed, forsaken, and abandoned woman that cannot find rest or comfort. But despite the difficult situation, the destruction and loss, the Lord comforts the people of Israel encourages them and promises them that he has not forgotten them and that he is dis dis destined to redeem them. The Lord promises Jerusalem that he will restore her to her former glor glory when she was beautiful and magnificent. And I quote, I will rebuild you with the stones of turquoise, your foundations of sapphires. I will make your battlements of rubies your gates of precious stones, and all your walls of gems. End of quote. God promises he will adorn her with dust, like a woman putting on makeup. He will crown her with jewels of grace. The use of strong stones gives a sense of stability and security in her unstable condition. He will redeem her and rebuild Jerusalem. The Midrash also sends consolation. The Midrash refers to three figures, Sarah, Chana, and Jerusalem. In every place where the verse says that there is nothing, that something is lacking, this lack was filled. So the two barren women, Sarah and Chana, had children born to them, and also Zion, of whom it is said she had no comfort the Almighty will comfort her. She did not have a suitor, but in the future she will have one. We are also in a period today where we are seeking comfort. Sometimes it seems to us that the Almighty has forsaken us. As the prophets say, Zion said the Lord has abandoned me. We are troubled and have no comfort or rest. As the prophet said, a storm-tossed city without comfort. The Haftarot of Consolation teach us that even when it seems to us that there is no comfort, God has not forgotten us. He accompanies us and takes care of us. All that is lacking will be found and filled. And just as God has redeemed us in the past, He will redeem us in the future again. Shavuot from Schechtel.